Hello, great day. This is Rumor Has It with Natasha Ray. It's been a, lo a long time since I've been on. It's been a hot minute. I do share videos other places, um, but it's been a minute since I've kind of shared a word of the Lord or a dream. Um, but this is something that I was crying about all morning, and I just know that it's something important to Papa's heart. And because of that, I want to be able to share it and get it out there. Please come along with me in prayer that what we need to hear and this message gets to every person it needs to. If you feel led to share this video, to subscribe, and just to come along with me in agreement at what God's doing. Father God, I thank you for your children. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your strength. I thank you that you, gives us, you give us dreams and visions to guide us in our daytime, to speak to us, to protect us, to lead us forward. May the words that come from my mouth be led by you, flow from my belly, the river of living water, to every person and ear that needs to hear it. And may it awaken the hearts of your children to feel ignited, to walk in the fullness of what you have for them, in them, and through them. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. So in this dream, it started out in a high school. It's actually the high school of the town I grew up in. And there was a pastor there that I knew, that I know very well, he was there. And I was, there was a, something going on. There was little, like the kids were in the halls and they were just kind of teaching them in the hallways. And I was getting a coffee, um, fussing with what I could put in my coffee because I don't like junk in my coffee. And I looked over outside of this one classroom door and this gentleman I know that was actually at the school when I went to school, who actually adopts a lot of children was there and he was excited to see me. And oddly enough, one of his children, um, I just spoke to not long ago because one of his children is now friends with my children and he's kind of a troubled youth. And I told him last time I see him, I said, kiddo, you and I, we gotta get together, we gotta pray. And he wanted to. He had done something in the community and he was really paying the price for it. And he said, I don't know what happened to Tasha, I just lost control. I said, I know kiddo. After that, I was getting ready to leave, to go to my vehicle, and I w went outside into the parking lot and I went to walk to my truck. And there was this puddle of water and this red stop sign, it was like a light, like, you know, like the light of a traffic light. And it, it, it was on red and it said, it was one on the back and one on the front of my vehicle. It was like, don't go, stop. And I was like, okay, maybe there's a danger from going, walking in this water, I don't know. But I knew there was a stop, red, don't go. I also know red is the blood of Jesus. So I turned around to go back into the high school and I had to climb up this mountain thing and it was a snow hill and I had to slide down and it was like a straight down slide. Like I look, it was just sliding straight down. I was like, yeah, I got this, woo! And I got to the bottom and there was like a, there was a pit, like a hole and I kind of flew by it with ease, no fear. And I know that it, snow often in waking and in dreams represents war. And that was the end of that part of the dream. The next part of my dream, I was in this room. It was almost like a nursery in a sense. My grandfather though, who has passed, was laying on the couch as he often would to rest. 
and I was in this rocking chair with one of my children, they were very small in the dream, and this baby, this little baby girl, and I was just rocking them really calm. And this little girl was kind of suckling on my shirt, and I thought, oh, she wants to be breastfed, she's hungry, you know. And I kind of turned and her mom was there. I said, oh, are you her mom? She's hungry, I think. And she said, yeah. So I took her the baby and I said, that's my grandfather on the couch there. He's alive, but he's actually dead, but he's alive right there. And I was just like, that's the second time my grandfather's shown up in my dreams. Doesn't say anything or anything like that, but it's just his presence is being there. It's very powerful. And it went from that to right into a, a schoolyard. I was in a, it looked like a schoolyard or massive playground, all kids of all ages. They were just running around. It was just, it was so chaotic, chaos everywhere. And I just was looking around like, wow, <laughs> what's going on? And this little kid, I don't know if he was like six or 10, he was very small though. He came up to me, started hitting me and kicking me in the leg. I said, please stop that, what's wrong? I said, listen, how would you come inside with me, sit on my knee, let's have a talk. Do you just want me to cuddle you, you know? And he said, yeah. And I just took him into the this little nursery area, sat him on my knee on the rocking chair and I just rocked with him. And the anger, just went away into peace and calm. And I woke up. Let the children come to me. It's found in Matthew 19, 14 and Mark 10, 14, where Jesus welcomes and blesses the children that were brought to him by the parents. He also says that the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like children and that whosoever does not receive it like a child will not enter. The disciples tried to stop the children from coming to Jesus, but he rebuked them and was displeased. Let the children come. Over the last couple of days, I've on social media, I've seen more than one youth missing, a vanished child. Now, for those who are awake and aware, they, that's not something uncommon, and I'm pretty sure we know where they're going. I pray against the trafficking all the time. But you have to remember over the last couple of years of the, I can't say it because they'll censor me, but over the illness that swept the world, Many children were left, not covered, not protected, not sure what to do, forced into things like their parents were, but expecting their parents to protect them, but instead allowed them to be victimized. We went right from that into some of the most infuriating stuff coming into the school systems. Absolutely disgusting. The children need us. Let the children come to us. Uh, I've always had an open door to the children. This morning as I awoke, I said, Lord, I, I believe that you anointed me for the children, to fight for them, to war for them, and I will, and I will. But more people need to wake up to see the children that are lost, the angry, the sadness. They just need a hug. They just need to know they're loved. They just need to be acknowledged. Instead of fighting them back or telling them they're bad and wrong because they've done something wrong, we need to engage in conversation and love and prayer. It is far easier to bring healing unto a child than it is to a broken man or woman. It needs to start at their youth. Wherever you're called, 
in this season as war comes upon us, as it's always been a constant war for the children. How many times in the time of Moses they tried to murder the babies when Jesus came throughout the last 50 years through abortion. vaccination. They want our children. And we need to stand up and fight for them. Pray. Open our hearts. Extend love. Extend an invitation of encouragement. I jog by the schools. I press my hand out towards the school. I pray in tongues. I pray whatever I need to. I pray over the school. I set my feet on the property. I take that land in the name of Jesus. Anoint your shoes with oil if you must. Reach the children. Father, Lord God, give your children the ability to see the children, to fight for the children, to know, God, that they are the next generation, that they are here to ignite the world for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us fight for the thousands of generations of our children. No matter if it's our own lives, Father, Lord God, no matter if we have to fight every day, knowing that you will bring healing and that these children will walk into the heritage of the servants of the Lord and the lands will be blessed and they will have the things, God, that you pre-prepared for them before the coming of the age. Bless the adults, bless the parents with strength and power in you, Lord Jesus whether they know you or not yet. Let there be encounters with the living God, dreams and visions in their dreams, in their sleep, in encounters anywhere they go. Let us get the children back out of the clenches of the enemy. Let us fight and war in the heavenlies for our babies. And in the physical, let us extend the love a hand, a heart, a hug, letting them know they're not alone, that they're protected, that we see them. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. I love you guys, the love of Christ. I bless you. You are far more incredible than you. You might even know the plans and purposes God has for you. They will come to pass. Don't grow weary in the well-doing. Keep fighting. Keep standing. And remember the joy of the Lord is your strength. I beseech you with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ to go forth and do the will of the Father. Amen. And amen.